Hey guys, Sean here from Fishing Photographer Sean. So today I'm trying to do something that I know I'm gonna regret later. Um, let me show you, let me explain what I'm talking about. So I'm here for car fishing, right? So this is one of the regular rods that I use for car fishing a lot. This is a collapsible rod, so you can collapsible to about, you know, really small size so that I can fit in my trunk. Now that I use a lot for car fishing. However, check out these two. This is one of the flimsy ultralight rod from Walmart and there is another ultralight rod from Dix. And um, I, was, I was trying to figure out what it, what it feel like if, if I catch a carp on these rods. Um, that's probably gonna be really tough to do because they're so big and powerful and these are such a flimsy rods that, you know, they're, the b biggest they can handle is easily bass, bluegill, stuff like that, little catfish. So I don't know what to expect, but stay tuned and we'll find out together. So this is one of the flimsiest rod, rod I have. Yep. So you can have some I just fun. wanted to see what it feels what it's like. like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I've had one on a float rod. Mind you, I've had one on a pole. On, I was float fishing for roach. Really? And had a cut calf on a pole. Now that's fun. Yeah. I don't know how big this guy is, but it feels like 40, 30, 40 pounders. <laughs> it's just that, you know. Minimum. Yeah. <laughs> Could be more. But I'm guessing about 8, 10 pounder maybe. Oh boy. That should work out for today. <laughs> <laughs> So who needs to go running? Exactly. To keep it. exactly. <laughs> really, how big is this guy? I haven't seen him yet. Nope. He's still feeling dry, so he's pretty powerful. He may be bigger than 10 pounder. Hey, yeah. yeah, I see him. Yeah. There. Your Charlie rig works quite well with the format because he had it on a float. Oh, right. Now it looks like about 12 to 15. Have you seen him? Oh, yeah, yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a nice male. And he's looking okay as well. He's looking okay. Yeah. He's all come over. There we go. Is it in there? Yeah. It's just a little... There we go. He's got a lift out as well, hasn't he? Thanks. Wow, he's actually... He may be heavier than 12. Wait a minute, yeah, just one. fine. Yeah, on the grass. Excellent. Yeah, nice fish. Beautiful carp. Yep. He's, he's in not bad condition. Yeah, he's there's some little. stuff. Yeah, but I mean, that's that's minimum. That's kind of, yeah, kind of Yeah, expected. I mean, that's sort of expected. Alrighty, folks. So the first fish of the day, beautiful carp. Um, look at on this side. There is some messed up. Stuff on this side going up. Here, check this out, man. I hope he's gonna be okay. But that's pretty rough. I don't know if you can see this, these parts. But overall, it's really awesome. I had really fun time catching him, but I should put him back in the water real fast. All right, folks. So. Um, I put him in the net and then put him in the water and about two minutes later he's just thrashing, you know, fighting so I realized that he's okay, good to go. So um, I released him. Um, I'll probably try to catch one or two more and then I'm going to switch back to the regular gear. This reel is messed up. It's a brand new reel, but not doing very well. See, it's going either way. Sometimes you just take it up. Huh? What do you mean it's going either way? See? Nah. No, it doesn't work. Nah. You just open it up. See? Uh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Nah. yeah, I need to change this reel. This is a new reel. Amazon. It's a cheap one though. Oh boy. It's 
just realized. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty folks, second fish of the day on the ultralight rod. I'll show you the kind of rod that I'm using. It's crazy. That was fun. Alrighty folks, so let me show you my rod that I'm using today. So this is probably my mm -hmm. flimsiest rod. This is not good. Mm -hmm. This is problem, but I have to change it. It took a lot of my line. Man, he's way out there. <laughs> what about this coloration? What is what's going on here? What do you think? No, it's natural. It's natural? natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dark and light color? Yeah, okay. yeah absolutely. Okay. Yeah, if you look So this is a 19 pound carp. Look at the size of his lips. He has a big mouth. And he's been caught before. There are some marks in the mouth and uh, I found some uh, hooks and stuff that tangled up with this fish. Um, so I'm gonna put him back in the water and then trash all the stuff and then get back to fishing. Thanks a lot guys. Another fish on guys, another fish. Oh. <laughs> Drag is pretty tight, but look at this, look at this. Oh, here's this one. Oh boy. I would say this is about eight, eight to nine pounder maybe. Calm down. He has a little red lip. Alrighty folks, one more carp. Look at his mouth. He has lipstick on. <laughs> All right, folks, he goes back. All right, guys, just a quick update. Um, so <clears throat> early morning, I started off with uh, ultralight rod to catch some carp. I did. I caught two of them on my most uh, flimsiest rod. Um, then I was told that um, apparently that takes a heavy toll on the fish because these are big fish and uh, ultralight makes it longer to fight them and uh, that may harm them so after the second fish um, I kind of stopped and switched back to my regular gears and I've been catching fish and uh, right now the, the debris are coming in so I'm not sure how long I'm gonna stay but um, Hoppy and Ian they're doing pretty well so far so um, I'm gonna see how bad the situation gets and then make the decision if I stay or uh, get out of here stay tuned guys all right, folks, so not too bad of a day. Uh, what, four, five carp? I, did, I didn't record one small carp and then another nice size catfish. And then I did miss two carp, but all in all, it was a great day. Um, I'm gonna have to pack up because the water is coming in now. 
so uh, and I'm wearing shoes so I can't get in there once it's flooded so I'm gonna head out um, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you for watching